Do you ever wonder how those big deal beauty YouTubers get the beautiful sculpted light? Well, you're in luck because today is all about the perfect lighting YouTube setup for your beauty videos. Hey love, I'm Gia Goodrich, the beauty photographer, and welcome back to my channel that is all about helping you beauty influencers, makeup, hair artists, all you amazing people, dial up your photo and video skills because our worlds are so interlinked. We're gonna be going over the big names in the beauty industry. We have James Charles, Nikki, Tati, Jackie Aina, all the big ones, Jeffree Star, cause duh. I'm a little shook. I'm gonna be showing you how big beauty influencers record their YouTube content and what kind of lighting they use so you can make your beauty videos Bang it. But first, if you are new around here, hi, I'm Gia. And if we met in real life, I would probably like you. Okay, I'm gonna focus now. If you're new around here, take a second and consider subscribing because every week I'm coming out with new content that is designed just for you. The beauty obsessed makeup hair artist that you are. Um, all right, so first is my personal favorite, Wall of Glow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want you, Kim Kardashian. Wait. I do, I like, I love Kim Kardashian. It was just, she popped up and we didn't, okay. Start by looking at OG Nikki over here. Now, if you look at the reflections in her eyes, you can see there are three sources of light. There's a big soft box right here. There's one right in front of the camera and there's one to the right. Seeing that trifecta is what I like to call the wall of glow. The W-O-G, is that how words go? The W-O-G. Would that be how for, is it da, da, da? I got this. The W-O-G, wall of glow. Yay! And what you'll see is as we look at these beauty influencers, that is the consistent theme. Why is that? It's because having one source of light like I have now is beautiful and gorgeous, but if you don't have the shadows filled in, it looks pretty static and just not too gorgeous. So we notice Nikki, ding, 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 one has this. The next one we're gonna look at is Desi Perkins. And if you haven't seen this video already, it's great because she really walks through her lighting studio setup. Ta -da! Now she, in this instance, is using one light like I am. But you'll see the way that she's bouncing light is creating that same wall of glow. These are really expensive lights. They're called Kino Flows and they're just like, like crazy expensive, but super sexy, obviously. But actually what they've done is created a piece of diffusion right in front that actually turns it into one solid light. It just spreads the light out all the way top to bottom. So even just using that one light source, Desi has created that wall of glow by using fill cards. These are what bounce the light in multiple directions. And this is what really wraps that light, creating that really beautiful wall. You wanna be in a cocoon of light. So you'll see on one side there's one, and the other side is another. And that creates that beautiful sculpted light. So real talk, if anybody has the most beautiful light, it's Patrick Starr because duh, she's beautiful. We love her. We're all about her and she deserves high quality light, right? She's invested in it. The best thing is this video with Patrick Ta. If you look right here in the reflection of the balloon, you can see that the same wall of glow is being created. He has two key lights, two lights that are coming a little bit from the side and a fill light that's bouncing light back up. So that is created again, that same filling in, wrapping in, being really beautiful about it. So you're not getting these shadows. Now, the one downside to this, of course, is that you aren't getting any shadows. So what it can tend to do is like round out the face. Shadows really sculpt and chisel. So the reason that this light is great is that you can really see the contouring and everything that you do as a makeup artist because you're not getting any of that from the light. However, if you don't fill in the shadows, then you're getting basically double contouring because the light is sculpting the shadows and then the contour that you have. And so it doesn't really show off your skills. So for all of you loves that have the ring light, I know the beauty industry loves a good ring light, but as a photographer, I can tell you that most of the time when people use a ring light, it just doesn't have the full beautiful impact because the shadows are so intense and they're kind of eerie shadows, right? Ah! Because of that ring, you get these weird soft shadows all the way around and it just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel how we would normally be experiencing light and shadow. So it just feels kind of wonky. But once you fill that in, 
it looks gorgeous because the quality of a ring light is beautiful. So here's my favorite is that Tati, which who doesn't love Tati? She is amazing and I love her and I want her to adopt me because she's just fabulous. You are in my mind like the best. She doesn't really have any videos that I'm aware of that talk about her lighting setup. However, in this video that she did with James Charles, there was this moment where just for the flashiest of flashes, you got to see her set up and I was just like, oh, yes, because her lighting is like so ridiculously gorgeous. So watch this and we're gonna watch it in quarter speed so you can see it because it flashes so fast. Okay, ready? So James, hiding. And then, okay, watch this as they pan over down to the ground and then, Boom, hold on, there's, boom, oh, yes, we see it. Okay, so Tati has really high quality lights, right? Again, she has these Kina Flow lights here and here that are just like, you know, she's expensive. But she's also using a ring light. Now, how are these lights positioned? They're positioned as the WOG, Wall of Glow, where she has her key light and then two over the side. So this key light that she's using, the ring light, is something that a lot of you have, you can totally use. And then just by filling two lights in over the side, making those shadows look a little bit normal, a little more filled in, is just so beautiful. And just so you can see, we'll cut to like some real lighting just in case you forgot temporarily how gorgeous her light is. See, so this is how you get this really beautiful light where there's a little bit of highlight happening, but everything is filled in and gorgeous and soft and beautiful and just, you know, everything that you would want from the light, pretty much. All right, here's a fabulous close-up that can help us really dissect what's happening. So we see that ring light dead center reflected, and then those two lights on either side, and then she actually has one on top that's probably just adding additional light coming down. And then right at the tail end here, we can see the light is being bounced up probably by a fill card. So again, this is this beautiful wrapping wall of light with a little bit of bounce that creates this beautiful look that she goes for. It looks gorgeous when you're recording your videos, but it also when you go to take that still, boom, it's beautiful and you can see all the amazing work that you've done. Because if you can't light it right, nobody can see it, especially highlights, you know what I mean? Those are the first to go. Okay, moving on. Now the other type of light that you can leverage that's sort of the similar in principles, but it's not working with the three, the triangle, is a duo light, which is beautiful and intense and gives you a little bit of chisel here. Now, if we look at Miss Jackie Ina, you can see she has both lights at equal intensity that are creating that fill. So no one light is stronger than the other, which means the shadows are gonna be really even. The camera is probably positioned right in between those two. So if you look, you see that highlight through the center of the face, but for her, because she's not creating that wall and wrap, there's a little more chiseling that's happening on the sides of the jaw. So this is really great, especially if you have more rounder features and you want to create some of that chisel down the side. Another one who uses this light is the amazing Nikki from Nikki Tutorials. And if you look at her eyes, she has those duo lights, but what she's doing is instead of bouncing the light back up, she's using two smaller lights to fill in those shadows from below. So if you look at the sides of her jaw, there's a little bit of darkness there. Now this is actually something that you'll notice if you go back and watch her videos from a couple years ago, she used to create that wrapping wall of light. My guess is that having a little bit of chisel down the side is really something that emphasizes her face shape. Where's Jeffrey? So one person who's actually leveraging both strategies, both the duo and the wall of glow, is Jeffree Star. If you don't like Jeffree, you can just unsubscribe now. Bye, Felicia. By the way, if you haven't, take a minute to consider subscribing because every week I come out with new content that is designed to help you level up your photo and video game so your pictures, your Instagram, everything is showing the amazing talent that you have. Sorry, not sorry. If you notice looking at the reflections in his eyes, the two key lights, which means the ones that have the most intensity, are these duo lights. However, they are spread out in that trifecta, right? The wall of glow. I don't need to say wall of glow every 10 seconds, but they are spread out to a place to create that trifecta. And you can see that little highlight up top that there's another light coming in and filling in through the center of the face. And this is why Jeffrey looks fantastic fantabulous 
perfect, glowing, and wonderful is because of that beautiful wrap. I could watch Jeffree Star all day, every day, and in fact, like there have been a couple instances when I legit have. Don't tell anybody, especially the people who were supposed to be having some deliverables from me, um, that I was busy watching Jeffrey. Okay, the last style of light that we're gonna cover today is coming from everyone's favorite sister, which I have four, so don't say that too loud. <coughs> Do you think that was karma? Is the mono light single, potent, in charge, large, gotta be large. Anyways, let's dig into it. If you're looking at the reflection, there's one light, but is quite wide, meaning that the angle that the light are coming is doing a little bit of wrap. Now, if you look really closely, it looks like there is a little bit of brightness on either end of the eye, which I would take to mean that there are probably bounce cards filling in those shadows. But this is a way to get it done with one light. So if you pay attention, look closely, you'll notice that there is a little bit of shadow that pops up as he moves around. And that's because the light isn't wrapping around because if you have a light coming from either side, if you have the light wrapping, this light is gonna cast light on the background over here. This light is gonna cast light on the background over here, which means that you're not gonna get those shadows. So that's something to think about in terms of what you want the background to look like. Now, if you pop in a background light, that takes it out of the situation, but then you're working with a two light setup and some people, you know, that's the outside of the budge. But as you can see, by using a little bit of fill and having a wider key light, you can definitely make one light work. Because James is making it work. Okay, so that's it. It's really not as difficult as it seems, right? You have basically three options as a beauty YouTuber in terms of how to light your space in a really beautiful way. You can create a wall of light that really wraps around, that's gonna fill in all the shadows and give you a beautiful glow. You can do a duo light, which is going to bring beautiful highlight down the center of the face, but give you a little more chiseled, jaw line situation. Or, a la James Charles, you can do one key light as long as it's wide enough to get a little bit of that angle going and using a little bit of fill. The point is, you can make a really beautiful light no matter what your skill level is, no matter what your budget is, just by understanding those three types of light and using what you have. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what style of light you are excited to rock in your videos. And be sure to tag me with your channel name because I will watch that and I will give you all the like applauding hand emojis if I see some sexy light coming from you. All right, I'll see you next time. Today, today, today. How many times can I say today? Okay. Okay. Hey beauty babes, I'm Gia Goodrich, the beauty photographer. Oh, see, that's why I can't say beauty babes. I just say hey babes. Hey babe. Brr, Lord help me. I, okay. So the three types, <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> Let me just do one more time. I am here to take all of you. <laughs> I'm here to take you somewhere. Oh, I forgot to record here. Ah, oh, bitch. Looks like it was a wobble light. <laughs> Just help me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I will get this. Okay. Okay, do we feel like we have enough? 